Welcome to the garden. Today is August 21st, the day of the big North American solar eclipse. I'm just using little various garden objects, like this little sprinkler watering tool, to make a little camera obscura. It's actually really easy to make a little camera obscura with any sort of a pinhole. I've found that the small holes work the best like on this little watering tool for a watering can, just a little sprinkler tool. It actually works really well. I started with this large one and you can see it's a little tricky to see the crescent but on this little one it's really easy to see. That's the moon there crossing in front of the sun which is absolutely beautiful. I just love being out in the garden and with a phenomenon like this to observe, it's a really beautiful day. And it should be easier to see once the eclipse progresses a bit. You can even see it in the shadows of trees. There you can really see that crescent shape forming on those little round pinholes. And the distance can make a difference. We're getting closer and the holes get smaller so it's trickier to see, but if you really go far away, there you can see the crescent really easily. So the smaller your hole and the further away it is, I think the better your camera obscura is going to be. But a total solar eclipse, I was kind of curious if it would make morning glories blossom. You know, things that bloom according to the light conditions. I'm going to try another watering can with smaller holes. Okay, those holes might be too small. I'm not getting any light through there. Ooh, you can kind of see it there. And I want to try a colander from indoors in the kitchen. I think the more holes, it's <laughs> the more interesting it is. Look at all those eclipses. That is so awesome. It's like the scales on a fish. There we can see a couple of little reflections of the eclipse. A little green one dancing around and a little kind of a red one. And this is through three sunglasses and some clouds and it's still too bright for the lens. But I can still see it if I look through these glasses. It's really amazing. Yes! Yes! There it is! It looks tiny but it's it's there. Oh, that's awesome! We got it. Oh yes, there it is. It looks way better to the naked eye. It looks bigger for some reason. The camera really shrinks it down, but I think we've captured it through three pairs of sunglasses. Yep, there it is again. Oh, wow. What a sight. Wow, it's just a sliver now. That is amazing. It is absolutely just a little sliver of sun. So I'm using three shades. You can see I've just layered them up, the smallest to largest. And these are really nice polarized. I'm practically blind <laughs> in these things. This is hilarious. But it's so worth it because the eclipse is stunning. Oh, there we go, I caught a little bit of it. Oh, I can see with the naked eye right now. No, it's fine. Oh, yes! Can you see it? No. Nope. Look, just look. Oh, yeah. Oh. Come on, clouds. Get out of here. Get out of here, clouds. Go away, go away. We want to see the eclipse today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that is cool. Oh, is it yes. Here. Oh, I can oh. see it. I just turned the brightness way <laughs> down. Wow. Oh, there. <gasps> yeah. Yes. Wow, it's just a sliver. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. That was such a beautiful event. 
and that was only about 85% eclipsed. My brother's actually in the path of totality over in Oregon, and he got a little bit of footage of a complete total eclipse. It's incredible. So I'll put some clips up of that. So I hope you enjoyed this little view of the eclipse from here in the garden. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.